Hi traders, that's a review of a trade I took yesterday in Harley Davidson HOG. As you can see, uh, it's up 5.7%. Initially, it gapped up, came down a little bit, then moved up very strong to the top, which is a whole number, $44. Usually, stocks get bounced at whole numbers. There's a lot of sellers at whole numbers. And I'm planning to go long. Now that's a nice V-shaped formation, the stock is uptrending, there's the whole number issue of course of $44, so I'm planning to go long over $44. You don't buy it before, you buy it after it moves after the, over the whole number. So as you can see here, it's getting close to the 44, I'm always watching the sellers, watch the seller side here, 43.97 right now, and watch the buyers, watch the buyers closing the spread, which means the buyers are chasing it up and getting ready to buy 2,000 shares now. It moved the cent over 44, I click the button, I'm long. Now, first thing I need to think about is where my entry is, but then where is my stop? And of course, I have to do that before I move into a trade. So as you can see, it moved up by 14 cents, which is a nice initial move did not quite get to the point where I was um, hoping it's going to get. Let's fast forward now and now I'm going to stop the first forward. Now let's think about the stop and of course you need to th think about it earlier. So in order to do that you need to plan your stop loss by looking first at the trend. So take a good look at the trend and plan your stop. As you can see it's supposed to be somewhere around here. Now watch what happens now. A very, very strong red candle. When you see a quick red candle like that, you never move out. That's a quick spike down. It also happens with quite a lot of volume. Watch the volume bar right over here. Now when you see a quick spike like what just happened now, just wait for it to bounce. The price will bounce 99% of the time the price will bounce. You can also see that it bounced at the 43.50. Now 43.50 is also very important, it's a semi-hole number. You would find some buyers. Once the stock is getting down to a semi-hole number, it's very likely that it's going to find some buyers. Now, there's a lot of traders I know that use hard stops. I never use hard stops. Well, sometimes I do when I have small quantity, when I already took my partial. There's some reasons why I should, but usually I don't use hard stop, I use mental stops. So once you see a stock spiking down like that, it's meant to shake you out of the trade. You never get shaken out of the trade unless you see a pullback. So you wait till, till you see the pullback. At this time, you can see that the pullback again was 43.50. Now you can have a stop under 43.50, but again, don't use hard stop. Move out manually once the stock is coming down. But first, look for the pullback. Stocks never move in straight lines. They always pull back, unless there's some kind of intraday news. Now, what's the chance that uh, HOG will have some kind of intraday news that will drive it down now five points? Well, I, I, I do remember one case when I was doing the same thing and the stock did come down 10 points. I think I had a seven point loser, but that happened once, maybe six or seven years ago. ago. So if you trade like me, several trades a day, and you can get shaken out of many trades, and then every once in a while, like seven years ago, I had one case of intraday news where I really had a big loser. Well, that happens. But uh, the majority of the trades that you will take uh, you'll gain much more than you will lose in just, you know, ever once in a while trade that has some kind of intraday news. So again, look at the point it bounced. It bounced at the VWAP, which is where institutional traders will buy. It also bounced at the semi-hole number, 43.50. And now you only have to play with the, with the trend. The trend is up. Originally, that should have been my stop loss point. But if it came down so strong, this strong red candle, it doesn't matter if it would have moved under my stop loss, much under my stop loss, I wouldn't move out unless I see a pullback. 
Now I was very lucky to have this pullback exactly at where, at where, my, at where I planned my stop loss, but even if it came down another point, I wouldn't move out. I would just wait for a bounce. Now the stock is uptrending, it hasn't done anything wrong. If you moved out of this trade, it's only because you didn't have the right size. So think about your size. Think about what happened if you had a thousand shares. Would you move down on a 50 cent spike? That's a $500 loser. Now think what would may have happened if you only had 100 shares. Would you be able to go through a $50 loss? Well, it's all about size, but you need to play the right technical game. If you can't play the right technical game with the size that you're trading, you should trade lower size. Stock hasn't done anything wrong. It's uptrending. Yes, it spiked down very quickly. And again, it's meant to shake you out of the trade, but then you wait for it to come back up. And if you're trading stocks like I do, and you're not allowing the stocks to play the right technical game, you have no future in this game. Absolutely no future. So as you can see here, HOG bounced exactly at the 43.50. Now, if it would come down again under 43.50, that would be a trend. I mean, I'm not sure that it's going to start trending lower and go all the way down, but it's certainly not going to be the right thing for HOG to do. HOG has a higher low now. Your new stop should be under 43.50. If it continues higher, that's great. If it's moving under 4350, you should be stopped. But always allow a pullback. Always allow a pullback. I could move out now at the 30 cent, approximately even less than that stop loss. But I wouldn't because again, it's uptrending. The stock is up 5%. Everybody's watching it because it's up 5%. Usually people are scanning for stocks that are higher than 1%. Now, of course, Harley Davidson is a company that people love to buy. So when you have a stock that is uptrending, pulled back from the highs, up five and something percent, has nice volume, as you can see here, over one and a half million shares, very well-known company, it's very, very likely to continue. The only thing you need to remember is to play the right technical game. Don't get out of the trade when the spike goes against you. Wait for a pullback, play the right technical game, and look at the results. I'm going to fast forward it now. That's the point where we should start talking about my target. You should plan your target, of course, before you move into a trade. Now, think about your target now. If you had a stop loss of approximately 43.50, you should have approximately 50 cent target. So if you're risking 50 cents, you should be planning 50 cents. Now, you don't want to take your partial exactly at 0.50 again. Why? Because it's the same my whole number. So if it reaches 44.50, you're going to have some sellers there. It's probably going to bounce from the 44.50. So what you should do is you should wait until it gets closer to 44.50. Anywhere over 44.40 will do fine. So you'll be risking approximately the same as you will be gaining. So a little bit less than one to one risk reward ratio, but that's okay. You plan to have 50 cents. You have a stop loss of 50 cents. And of course, your stop loss could be a little bit less than that. Your target could be a little bit less for less than one to one risk reward ratio. That's no big deal. And of course, you need to realize that the stock that you're trading can move 50 cents. In order to do that, you just need to take a look back at HOG. Now, if you're looking at HOG, you can see it's a big mover. Look at this quick upside candles here. So HOG, based on its personality, can do 50 cents. And that's important because if you have an unrealistic target, you're just not going to get there. So here's the result. As you can see here, it's getting very close to the 50. I'm taking my partial right now. And end result, lovely trade in HOG, just because I played the right technical game.
Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading team. Our professional analysts will teach you how you can trade stocks from your own home without risking your own money. Click here to learn more about our funded accounts program. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.